The Pimeroni Cosmic Unicorn is a 32 by 32 RGB LED display board powered by the Raspberry Pi Pico W. A thousand and twenty-four lovely LEDs to drive from Python or C++. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, IoT, robotics and other fun tech. I've previously taken a look at the Galactic Unicorn from Pimeroni and this time I want to look at its big brother, the Cosmic Unicorn. There are lots of similarities between these two boards and the software libraries that drive them. I've been switching back and forth experimenting with them for some time for a future project. So I can give you some of my experience from a C++ programmer's perspective. Please do like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I think it's time to take a look into the box and see what this cosmic unicorn is all about. So in the box, we've got um, some nice bit of packing and we've got the actual display unit itself, nicely packed there. And as you see, it's basically just a square PCB with all of those LEDs on. We've got these bolts, which are the stand for it and the USB cable that comes with it. Let's have a look at the display itself. Right, so we have the 32 by 32 LED matrix and on the back we've got our Pico W which is driving it all. And we've got uh, a little speaker there for sound and a bit of other electronics that I'll go through in a second. But uh, that is it. That's what the Cosmic Unicorn is. This video is sponsored by PCBWay on their journey to be the most professional PCB manufacturer for prototyping and low volume production work in the world. Have you checked out PCBWay's YouTube channel? They have some great tutorials on PCB design and soldering techniques. PCBWay do much more than just PCBs, like 3D printing, with options of FDM, like my home printer, SLS and SLA with some really great results. And don't forget their community projects pages and module shop. Why would you go anywhere else but PCBWay? On the front of the Cosmic Unicorn, we have the 32 by 32 RGB LEDs, all being driven by FM6047 constant current LED drivers. And we also have a light sensor, which is a photo transistor, so you can use that to set the brightness of the panel. On the back of the panel, we've got the Pico W. We have nine input switches, though some of them have uh, specific uses for um, volume up, volume down, brightness up, brightness down. You can actually reuse them to be anything you like. They're just jet standard switches connected to GPIO in um, a pull to ground model. We have two uh, quick STEM RQT uh, connectors, um, which we can use for things like I2C devices. And we've got a battery connector for power if you don't want to power it via the USB. We also have a speaker and a little amplifier, though the quality of the sound produced by this isn't great. It is there if you wanted it to, you know, interrupt or make a little noise, perhaps rather than playing the soundtrack to your movie. This panel is actually quite a challenge, I think, for the Pico W by the looks of it, because when you look at the schematic, we've used just about every single GPIO pad available on the Pico W to drive this. There are two that are currently free and not used in this design, GP2 and GP12. Everything else has been used to actually drive the LEDs or provide connectivity for the uh, quick ports or the ITC ports or the driving those switches. Unfortunately, SWD debug has not actually been broken off of the Pico W. So there is no nice port to plug in for that. And because the Pico W is surface mounted onto the back of the board, actually using the SWD port is really very hard. I've got some other videos talking about this um, from Galactic Unicorn and how I got over that by using pogo pins. Uh, you might want to go and have a look at that one. 
there's no UART, which is a great shame because when I'm developing for this board and I'm trying to work out what's going on, I do like to get a bit of telemetry off of the, the board. Now, the only way you can do that at the moment is over USB. But in projects that I've got coming down the line, I, USB is busy doing something else. So this is um, not ideal. They have two GPIO pads free but they are not in a configuration where I can actually reuse them viably for um, an output for UART. That's a bit of a shame. No, though not technically an issue or anything, um, just to be aware, because I tripped up on it, power on this, USB power is obviously going to VBUS, but the battery is going to VSYS. Now that's good design and exactly as it should be, but um, I was assuming that I might could get back power onto the USB from the battery and you don't. So uh, a project that's coming down the line yeah, got a little bit of a challenge there because I made an assumption that was completely invalid. Right out of the box the Cosmic Unicorn has some demos on it so you can just turn it on and see the wonderful LEDs display and um, one of the examples here is a calendar display which is quite nice it gives you an idea of what you could do from a text and graphics point of view to get a, a, a display up and running even though it is only 32 by 32. Then we've got a nice fire simulation um, which is, is a bit blocky to be honest with 32 by 32 bit but it's quite nice uh, example of the different colours and it looks much better on in reality than I can get a, a video to record it. And then we can show the full RGB capability of the display. There are C++ and MicroPython libraries available to drive the board and they're reasonably well written. The MicroPython I think is more usable than the C++ mainly because it's better documented. These libraries have graphics primitives for drawing things like you know circles, squares, lines etc and also for doing text and then various fonts which is quite nice. Using these I've been working on actually doing something a little bit more complicated and bringing an animation to the screen. So I'll show this and how I'm doing this properly in a future video but this is actually a simulation of the earth rotating uh, rendered out of Blender and uh, then I brought that over to the display to try and show um, the earth rotating. I, I think I've got a bit of work to do mainly because my blender skills aren't quite up to it yet. So the Cosmic Unicorn is a really nice 32 by 32 bit display. It's got some good connectivity though it is limited and so that QWST2 ports which really is plugging something on I2C into it is uh, really where to go. And I've done some of that. I have plugged in an AHT10 temperature and humidity sensor uh, into the um, Galactic Unicorn um, to just demonstrate that and for one of my projects. So that's really quite a viable expansion capability. And I do quite like the stand. Those little bolts to make the thing stand up are really quite nice. I wish we had UART on board and I wish we had the SWD broken out. Those are probably my two wishes that I would have liked on the board, but they don't take away that much from it. It's still a great product. So the Cosmic Unicorn is good fun to play with as a board. It's well built and generally the software library is quite good. Some more documentation and examples would have helped though. For example, it isn't obvious which PIO banks and DMAs that the library is using. I've fallen over this trying to display animated PNG images um, onto the device. But I'll save that story for a future episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video as it helps encourage me to make more videos. And please subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss the next video. Goodbye for now.